okay i decided that since i was doing all my hooks that i include my needles and my tunisian hooks too i don't i don't know oh, well my inventory list or whatever but it's not that many so i don't think i'm gonna need that let's see and two long got these they was on clearance at michael's they were two dollars they were plastic knitting needles size is 15 millimeter and they're a little long so i'm gonna have to aminer crossways i guess and got these from michael's also they was on clearance for two dollars and it's 12.75 millimeters They both are Bernat, well, Susan Bates X Bernat. The latest up here. I got these a while ago. Um, I think back when the pandemic first popped out. And I got these from Walmart. And. But when I saw them, I said, oh, they are big and fat and long ones. Love them, love them, love them. But they're 25 millimeter or they're considered 50 US. And they're noisy. Let's see. Got these from Walmart. And they're a boy. 15. Now, mind you, I do not knit, but I know how to knit and how to purl. So those are just, just in case, all right? Let's see. What else we got? Got some really slim knitting needles let's see if I can tell what they are they are a boy I need my glasses I think they are eight wait they're glasses look at them it says something oh okay the fives And I've tried to knit with those, and they drove me crazy, which is all tight and everything, just drove me nuts. And I saw these in Hobby Lobby. Did I say it right? Hobby Lobby. And I said, ooh, it's got a cable on it. And I kind of want to use them. For some jumbo yarn I got, but I'm afraid of of it like splitting the yarn because the yarn is really frayed and fluffy and everything. But I really would like to use them. And maybe one day I get up the courage and I'll use them. They are Nittles Pry. Let's see. Just lay that stuff over there see what else I got I used to do latch hook hated it never could finish a rope but and I've had several of these uh, like I mentioned on one of the videos I don't know which one uh, a lot of my stuff got lost when we moved here but this is my latch hook just in case I guess I don't know how everything else got lost and this thing didn't. <laughs> it is old. Look at that tip. It is really old. Gosh. I'm not even sure what size it is anymore. It's a G. Whatever that is. And it's all crooked. I think I had it in, in a dresser drawer or something because what I, I didn't know what it was for when I first got it way back 40 some odd years, 50 years ago. And I would, every time uh, we would have something 
a drawstring to go inside of a coat or something. I would use this to get it out, and it would work. But, uh, I guess that's how I still got it. It's all beat up. But uh, at least I still have some some of my old stuff, at least a reminder of it. I remember telling my mama, it's a long hook. I want it. She said, what you gonna do with it? I said, I have no idea, but I want it. And she got it for me. And this is a 5.5 or K. And I got it from Hobby Lobby. And since I went furrows crazy, might as well go furrows crazy with this. It is a nine. No, no, it's a good thing. That is sharp. That is nice. I like that. And I might order a few more of these before they stop with the style. Because I want them all to be the same style. It is neat. The thing is, is that they use the same box for both sides of solicit. Let me get it out. And here it comes. This is a 7. And both of them are the style called King Snake. I hate snakes. But, uh, they make a tough looking, uh, wooden Tunisian hook, though. I really like that. I like the end. I like the stripes. Love this. That is so pointy and precise. This is nice. 